In this video, we are going to look at the 2018 AMC 10A, problem number 18. In this video, it talks about how many non-negative integers, uh, as you're reading, try to process. Non-negative doesn't mean positive, it can include zero. Uh, can be written in the form a sub 7 subscript, so you say a sub 7 times 3 to the 7th plus a sub 6 times 3 to the 6th, all the way down where the subscript matches the exponent on 3, where a sub i is an element of uh, the set negative 1, 0, or 1, for i between 0 and 7 inclusive. Uh, this problem's difficulty somewhat is the notation. Um, for a lot of people, they don't know what the symbol means or they don't know how to handle a sub i. What does it mean that i is between 0 and 7? Um, we can kind of analyze it. This i is matching the subscripts on each of these numbers, 7, 6, 5, 4, down to 0. So if those numbers range from 0 to 7, that's why it says i ranges from 0 to 7. So for any given one of these coefficients of the power of 3, uh, say a sub 2, it can only have the values negative 1, 0, and 1. And all of them have that property. So where do we begin? It can feel like, again, a problem we've never seen something quite like before. Uh, we just start wherever you can. Just play the what if game. What if a sub 7 it's going to be the most powerful one on here because it's a 3 to the 7th. What if a sub 7 equals negative 1? What if that happens? Um, 3 to the 7th ends up equaling 2187. 3 to the 6th is equivalent to 9 to the 3rd. You should probably know your perfect cubes through about 12. Uh, 3 to the 6th is 9 to the 3rd, which is 729. 3 to the 5th is 243, 3 to the 4th is 81, cubed is 27, squared 9, first 3 obviously, and the 0 power always 1. So if this value was negative, I would have negative 3 to the 7th. I would have a negative 2187 in my problem. If all the rest of the numbers, if all of them came out to be positive 1, and I added all of them up, would it be enough to overtake the negative 2187 and generate a non-negative integer? It would not. You can see right here this is about 1,000, and you're not going to get another 1,000 from these numbers down here. So this number is very powerful as the top number. If it's negative 1, no such numbers exist. Uh, before we explore what happens if it's zero, let's change it to positive one then, because obviously if it's positive 2187 you're starting off with, all of the rest of the values can take on whichever value they want, and all such numbers will be a non-negative integer. Then that means we have how many choices for the coefficient of three to the sixth? We have three choices. So those three choices then times the three choices we have for 3 to the 5th, and so on. Each of these has three choices for negative 1, 0, and 1. How many of these are there? From 6 to 0, there are seven numbers. So you're going to have 3 to the 7th choices, and we've already calculated that. If a sub 7 is 1, you get 2187 such numbers. In fact, from doing this one what if, we can now perceive what's probably going to happen the rest of the way. Uh, let's see if we make a sub 7 the only other option, 0. If we get a sub 7 equal to 0, then a sub 6 now becomes the most powerful player on the board, and we want to make it positive, which can only be achieved with positive 1. So if a sub 6 is 1, now all the rest of these can take on any of the three three values, and you can see the problem just cascades from here. In each scenario, we're going to get this amount, this amount, and all the way down that many integers. If we add all of this up, though, we only get 3280. So where do we get from the answers? You can tell it must be D. It's clearly not E. So how do we get the extra one, though? Well, again, it said non-negative. What we're doing in this process is we're making the leading coefficient a 
they're all zeros except for the one that starts off the next set. And so if they're all zeros except for this one, we're saying that a sub zero is equal to one, and that's why we get this one scenario. There's one more case where all seven numbers, all eight numbers are zeros, uh, all the coefficients are, that gives you 3281.